before we begin, I have to show you the difference between me and my wife because she is kicking my ass right now. So she is level 30 with pretty much 40 hours into the game so far. And I'm over here at level 23 with 18 hours in. So we have got to catch up. So I think on this episode, because I'm starting this one a little bit earlier, I'm going to maybe record for around two hours compared to the typical one that we do normally. All right, so we're going to return to LB Weeks because it looks like she has some additional things for us to do. And I want to clear out some of these side quests. Back from your latest flight. I want to hear all the particulars. Wait, what can we buy? What I'm just curious. I mean, our gold is 150 for that. Can we sell that? We got 2600 gold. That is so amateur. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you Okay, again. let's see what he's got. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Yeah, we were. I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. It does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Thank you again, truly. See, to me, they have to have some... That was all I had to do? That was it? I do make a good team. I just had to turn that quest in. Why did I wait so long to complete that? Okay, let's see what else we have then, because that was a super quick one. Uh, Sebastian sent me an owl saying he found something interesting in the book from the scriptorium and he wants to discuss it in the Undercroft. Speak with Sebastian in the Undercroft. Uh, okay, so we have that. We have a, we have an, uh, two assignments to do. Um, find the butterflies in the Forbidden Forest. To me, I mean, should we go ahead and just check this one out? Because we've had this one for a while as well. All right, let's travel to this one and get this thing out of the way. Hopefully this isn't one of those, because I'm really bad at these, where you have to, like, solve some sort of treasure hunt. Or if it's just going to be literally as easy as finding butterflies. I highly doubt it's just going to, it's going to be that easy. Oh, wait, is it that easy? Oh, she wasn't making it up. We just follow them? Well, we've come this far. Might get an about the I always feel so bad using this curse. At least on creatures. Is this really all that I had to do was just get to the forest and follow butterflies? I think my biggest thing that I was worried about was having to go on like this treasure hunt. Hello, Hedwig. Okay, where are you taking me? Well, well. Ooh. Look what we have here. Return to Miss Willard Z. Okay, let's go back. Wait, have I not gotten this yet? There's no way I haven't gotten this yet. Okay, apparently I haven't. I almost thought that was the quest giver. Hello, Miss Willardy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed the treasure. I, I mean, oh, it was a lovely. it was a picture frame. I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. Oh, perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, it wasn't I'm that bad. Simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare? Again, was that all for that quest? Okay, we knocked out two quests within ten minutes, under ten minutes. 
Okay. Again, I guess let's go back to the quest board and see what we got. <laughs> We're just knocking these things out. Um, okay. So we have Sebastian. That is still a level 30 quest. Um, let's see. As much as I love the Room of Requirement in Deke, I just feel like I've spent a lot of time in there recently. All right, let's go visit Sebastian. There we go. Oh, I didn't even check to see what the reward was for this one. Ba -da -da -ba 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 -ba. Off on another adventure, are we? Yes, we are. What are you carrying? Scrolls? Wrapping paper? I'm actually kind of surprised it allows us to go in the Undercroft during the day because like, we're so secretive about it that we don't want the uh, we don't want anyone else to know about this. But it's like in broad daylight that we're going down here. You'll never believe what I. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. I mean, That's it's... That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. I mean, I think that we have to do what we gotta do. Crucio was our only you know? option. And I'm glad we did it. Because in the spellbook, I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I see you, no he's your friend. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. Ba -da -da -ba -ba -ba. I feel sorry for Ominous. Ba -ba. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. Hey. I'll decide what's for my own good. Oh, of course Ominous. he was hiding. We were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. Why was he creeping? You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. <laughs> I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I mean, like... He... I am not letting this go. He's just trying to save his sister. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. That's a little harsh. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library, nose is buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. I mean, I know that Ominous, he means well, but Wait, where does this want us? 
Nope, I did not mean to click on that. Was that the end of that quest? That might have been the end. I don't like that this game does that. It, like, it doesn't tell you anything. The quest just... You leave a conversation and the quest is no longer active. Like, and I, I can't even talk to Sebastian. Like, it, there, there is no, this quest was completed or come back to this quest. Like, it's not even in my quest log anymore. I don't understand why they did that. Wait, what's down here? I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small... Is, uh, is this a new quest or is this one that I already picked up? No, this this is a new quest. That's another thing. Why doesn't it why doesn't it differentiate the quest that I started versus the ones that are new? Like there should be some sort of outline over a quest that I already started. Because then you go around the castle and the icon above the characters are the same whether you started the quest. I just I don't understand it. But let's do it. You wanted to speak I mean, we're here to take out all the quests that we can. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. Hobhouse. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. <laughs> Why, thank you. That's nice to hear. I have had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your reputation is, in fact, warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see... We were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a, a puff scheme. Ugh, well, they seem innocent, but their tongues can be most disturbing. Exactly. I wish more of our fellow students agreed with you. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me. Puffskeen, Dunkeen. <laughs> That's actually funny as an option. We'll be nice. I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the herbology professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Okay. Hmm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. Find an insert. Oops. Whoa, 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 whoa. I hit the wrong button. Okay, so find it. Enter the Hidden Herbology Corridor. There's so many hidden things in this game. All the time. Everywhere. I feel, like if, I feel like every time I walk through a hallway, there's something that I'm missing. And I love it. Like this. Where is this chest? Rebellion. Oh, it's right there. Wait, can we, can we get to that? Hold on a second. Oh, it's locked behind this, isn't it? Yes, of course it is. Okay, so 17. Here's what... So, really quickly, here's how I think that this works. So, I'm pretty sure it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, that thing is 10. And the crab is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this has to be... This, right? No? 
Am I doing this wrong? Is it the other way? So is that one? Hold on a second. I want to make sure here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Aha. Okay. So now that I know there, that there's two of them, I'm still going to say that this is... No, it can't be 16. Okay. So I think I'm going to try this. So I'm going to see. So I'm like the one, two, three didn't work. So I'm going to see if this number maybe starts with the zero. So this one is 11 and zero one two, which makes this 13, which means we need eight, which eight would be a spider. So then we have nine plus one, two, three, four, five. So that's 14, meaning we need three more. So zero, one, two, three. So the top one should actually be the dragon. I think we got these now. Okay, so that's that. Does it work? Let's see. We figured these out. We figured these out. Oh, I'm so excited that we finally got these. It only took 18 hours, but we figured it out. That excites me. <laughs> Wait, do we have another quest up here? Dude, we have so many, man. I really have made a mess of things. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Nice to see you again. Thank you for asking. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You might recall that I was trying to cast non-verbally when we met in the comic. Yes, you were. Well, I mastered that. And now I've taken to creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took So now flight. we have to go and find your books. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my Give parents. us any excuse to help out students. You could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. I feel like we can we consider ourselves a new student at this time. A meats? I don't I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Amit's kind of a little shithead, isn't he? Alright, so should we just go and collect these really quickly, or should we go and do some quest? Ah, let's just do it. It is right here. I'm going to have to use Akio to get... Got All right, it. there's one. Only four more to go. There's two. Accio. There's three. Rebellion. Okay, they got to be on the second floor. Where are these other books? Aha. Okay, and there's only one left. That seemed... And she was right by the library. This one was right over here. Okay, I literally just saw it. Wait, didn't I collect all the books? I thought I collected all five. I 
I could have sworn I collected five of these books. Rebellion. Excuse me. Reading can be as magical as any spell. Alright, I got it. Book. Today was I'll a good day. That is, until Gareth splashed whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lacewing flies. Had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over again. He is such a menace. Thinks he knows everything. There is... he Thinks he knows everything there is to know about potions. Always disrupting. Professor Sharp's class with his experiments... I'm utterly convinced that if he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. Arbroth, Smokies again, tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now. Although, I still prefer meat pie. That does not sound appetizing literally at all. Rebellion. Okay, let's do this flu flame. I mean, I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Let's see, there's got to be other secrets in here as well. I can hear something. Is that just the flu flame, maybe? Oh, wait, there's this. I thought this was up. Oh, no, it's right here. Another token. Go right across. Got, Got him. I, this will now just put us halfway over. Rebellion. Okay. Any other secrets in here? There's gotta be in a library. All right, let's go give her her books back. I mean, I would say that that's just one of those quests where it's just giving you a, giving you a quest just to give it to you. But then, I also think a lot of these quests in Hogwarts Legacy are so you uncover areas of the map as well. I mean, that was the first time, besides the one quest, that I was in the library. And actually, I wasn't even in the library, I was in the Forbidden section. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief! You're welcome! Thank you! You I'll are welcome! I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Perhaps a reward. Let's do it. Unless you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, you might reward me for my time. Oh, you're not at all. Who That's I not really what I meant me. to say. I wouldn't do that to you, Cressida. Only trying to teach you to be <sighs> careful. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing. I was not expecting my boy to say that. <laughs> now to work out at all. where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. I was expecting him to like nicely ask. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Whoops. What are these again? Do I just have to Nice. Little field guide action. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, I, we are really knocking out quest in this video. I kind of, I, I just want to kind of go and do a, a main quest. Poppy is waiting in the area to the far north of Hogwarts as the broom flies. All right, let's do this one. All right, let's fast travel. Wait, do I have to fast travel this way? Because I. I want to be sure that if I fast travel this way, I'm not going to have to go all around here. And it looks like this is almost like a connected path. So let's do this one. That way I can get this log flume anyway, or log flume, this flame flume anyways. I got you, my dudes. Don't you worry. All right. Oh my God, there's so many enemies in here. Nope. Not today. Nothing more. 
these people I don't mind doing that to. Poachers deserve it. Are there more? Oh, I guess they're up there. Really? I gotta go all the way up here? How do I get up there? I guess like this? Oh, really? I can't go in here? Alright, for real, how do I... Oh, wait. Just like that. Oh, these are just spiders. No big deal. Yep, give me all the ingredients. All of it. Look at this little guy. Look at this little guy. Nice. Okay, so this is completed, right? Okay. Let's move on. I just want to get to my quest. Dear, look at all these freaking... There's so many enemies. A castle. Must have been quite stately in this time. But up ba 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 Whoop. There we go. Hello, Poppy. Is Highwing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. High wing's fine. High wing's fine. I'm Oops. keeping an eye. That is knocked straight into my desk. Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want high wing far from it. You said you had news about go. the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the hogshead, and did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the three broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat, but at the moment I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? Horntail? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making. At the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? <laughs> Your secret is safe with us. This way. Okay, hold on one second. All right, let's rock and roll. Poppy. <gasps> A centaur. Tread I actually... Carefully. I think my wife is level level 30 because she spent so much time like just continuously doing other things. But I don't think in the story I'm that far. Or maybe I am actually. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not really quickly. I say that she's not that far ahead of us, but then I also remember this was this quest was was in the beginning stages of her playing on a weekend. 
and then she played for like six or seven hours. So I do think that we actually are pretty far behind her. More of your kind around here, in league with the poachers. We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. That's all that you have to say? We're not poachers, I promise. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. I mean, we did just help but them take out a poacher think camp. He had anything to do with poachers. I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. Oh, the scream! That's the third time I've seen a dugbog behave that violently. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I mean, those I those things have been aggressive for it's a pretty long like time. In the water. Since I've met a bogs, what what are they? A, a bog something? They have this always tried to kill me. Odd. What is it? Not entirely sure. But look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Rebellion. Yep. Still smoking. I'll take this. Been gone long. Take that. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Hold up. Let's Help. investigate. Poor beasts. Why wouldn't they take their cages? I think that's all the investigating that we needed to do. Anything interesting? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Carefully, no she says. What's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. How do goblin and Oh look at the castle, it looks around. so good. Look, Just look at there. it. Definitely poachers. No creatures though. Let's go take them out. What are they doing out here? Let's Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less distinct? Yeah, I do want to use this. Oh, Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. Can we just start knocking them out? The curiosity they teach at Hogwarts will not serve you well. He didn't see us. She, he. Goodbye. I feel like we're going to have to fight these people anyway, so might as well just take them out. This is so overpowered. We're so close to 24. God bless my wife's heart. But it is funny to me that we have played. What is going on here? Only one way to find out. We have played for half of the less than half the time of my wife, and we are level 20, basically 24. And she's 30. But she's also done a lot of like side stuff and collecting stuff as well. I love you. I promise. Revelio. 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 Okay, we made it to the tent. What in Merlin's name? Are those dragons? Are they doing jag dragon fights? It's messed up.
It's a dragon fighting room. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. All right, well, here we go. Then a what Victor was sinking straight in the Oh, I can't open that? How do we get through here? Can we get through there? Aha, here we go. Have you heard from your family? Has even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Uh, I probably shouldn't attack as much as I want to. The violence isn't going to get us what we want. I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, then violence is no us. How are we not 24 yet? Yep, climb on up. Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? Can we free this dragon? We better be able to. That's a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even hold it, shall we? Let's do it. Look, they've got a dragon egg. Hepperdy. Ooh. We can't leave it here. Not with the plans they likely have for it. Aloha Mora. Aloha Mora. Nice. I'm going to try my best to not sell this thing on the black market if that is an option. I'm gonna try my best. All right, I have the egg. Ready. The element of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Let's make them count. Will it though? I mean, like, can we just be super careful? Careful! What? Why can't I do? Why can't I use this? It wouldn't let me use it. Hold up a minute. Are we on easy? Did I accidentally change my difficulty? I'm going to be so... I have it on story difficulty. So let me tell you why I had it on story difficulty. So for my wife's sake, I was showing her that if you change the difficulty to story, you can actually auto unlock locks because she kept having to like spend time unlocking locks and she's playing on story mode or on, on the story difficulty. So I was like, watch this. If you just change this to story, all you have to do is just click this button on the bottom right corner and then it unlocks the door automatically so you don't always have to go through and unlock it. But then in the process of that, I forgot to change it back to normal. I was wondering why these enemies were so easy to defeat. Okay, let's get back to it. It's going to be so weird now. Oh yeah, they take so much less damage. 
Oh no. I mean, we still, yeah, we still took him out pretty quickly. Who's this person? Alright, let's. I, I want to use the torture curse on her. This is so much harder on normal, it's crazy. Oh my goodness gracious. Yep, goodbye you piece of shit. These little goblins, man, they are so hard to defeat. Or they're at least a little more powerful than the normal enemies. Whew. Goodbye. I did not mean to hit him. There we go. You deserve this. Got her, nice. Ready for this? We don't have time. We need to free her now before more show up. Is that how we do it? I'm gonna say, don't tell me we have another wave of enemies. <gasps> Kill them all. Very well deserved. Destroy them! <laughs> okay, good thing we used our spells. We would have been dead too. We saved you, don't kill us. If if only we would have ridden the dragon out of here. This way. That was pretty badass. <sighs> Labored breathing. That was a Hebridean black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. 
Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. I mean, that is true. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. Damn, that was a fun quest. I mean, that really, really was. Okay. Ba, ba, ba. I, I count, I'm curious to see what else we have here. I'm sure it's going to take a second like how it always does for some quests to pop up, but okay. Thank you so much for watching. I know I was going to, I said in the beginning of this video that I was going to, I was going to make this one a little bit longer, but just to ensure that I'm able to stop editing or stop recording to edit this video, to make sure that this comes out tomorrow morning, I just want to end the video, get the editing done, export it, upload it to YouTube and just have it all ready to go by, you know, er early tomorrow morning. And we're just going to keep this going, man. I feel so much more motivated now that I have this new microphone. I know that sounds stupid, but I am such a big tech person and quality. Like, I, I want my videos to be the best possible quality that they can be. And, I mean, I just, I, I'm not trying to sound like I'm better than other YouTubers out there. Because I know that, I know YouTube can get done with with worse mics than this one but I basically just more than doubled the quality of my previous microphone. And I know not all of you are going to be able to tell, but I definitely will be able to tell. I, I, I went over my first video before starting this one and I was like blown away by the quality difference. I mean, I really, really was. So I'm excited to see exactly what this mic is capable of, what my videos are going to be like going forward with just a lot better quality. And I, I'm just, I'm trying to take the steps, man, to make this the place to go to for watching playthroughs, whether that be the way, you know, my editing style, whether that be how clean it is, whether it be just how fun the videos themselves are. And I know I have a lot, you know, I, I have a long journey ahead of me to get to that, but we're going to do it. We're going to get there. But guys, thank you so much for watching and peace out.